Hello, guys. Good evening to everyone. Hello. Good evening to everyone. Uh, well, it's a you once again. It's really nice to see that you're here. Thank you very much for your responsibility, guys, as always. Now, um, before we start, uh, well... Just let me see one second. Yes, I can see that. Okay, welcome. More people just connecting. All right, good. Okay, guys, as usual, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm always going to ask you questions. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Uh, did you listen to what I said, guys? Did you listen to what I said? Yeah, I, I, I can listen to you. Yes, it's sure. Okay, good. Uh, so what I was saying is that uh, today, what I'm going to do is that I'm only going to ask you questions like in general. Yesterday, who can tell me what we saw in yesterday's class? What was yesterday's class about? Color teacher. Colors, okay. So which are the three primary colors that we have? Which are those? Mm. Red. Red, okay. Yellow. Yellow. Pink. And green. green. Okay. Green. Good. All right, Jess. Those are the three primary colors that we have. Also, we saw obviously some other colors. We got a list of some other colors. So I understand probably some of you didn't study the whole thing. Because I told you that I was going to send you the presentation, but since nobody remembered me, I was not able to send it to you. So I really don't know if you want me to send you the presentation. Do you want me to send you the presentation, guys? Are you are you understanding? Si, si me están entendiendo, chicos. It's like, I don't know. It's like weird. It's like, solo veo rostros ahí como, ¿qué está diciendo, verdad? But I don't know. So it's like... Some words. Some words. Some words. Okay, that's that's completely understandable. Anymore. Okay, Marielos, she's saying that she didn't understand. Okay. All right. So uh, what I was saying is that if you want me to send you the presentation about yesterday's class, do you want me to send you the presentation? Because I told you, yo les dije que se las iba a mandar, but uh, nadie me recordó el día de ahora y hay veces con tantas cosas, so I forget it. I forgot it completely. So, I don't know if you still want it. No sé si todavía eh, quieren que les envíe la presentación of yesterday's class. I mean, just for you to have it. Solo para que la tenga. If you want to. If you don't, that's okay. Yes, teacher, please. Okay, good, Jacqueline. So, um, yes. okay, Joel. Now, as like Jessica, I was going to ask you a question, Jessica. And also for Marielos, uh, Jessica, for you, uh, did you, were you able to receive your certificate already? Did you? Did you receive your certificate already? No, coach. And I believe I don't, how, how do you say suscrita? You're not subscribed. I believe do not I know to write 
Okay, um, do, me a, do me a favor, please. After the class, I need you to send me your name complete, your complete name, and also your email address to correo. Okay, okay. Your, your phone number, please. I need you to okay. send me that. So, so for you to have, uh, well, I, I'm going to send your information to administration just to verify what's going on. Mariela, okay. for you, were you able to get the certificate too? No, teacher. Um, creo que le mandé una captura de lo que me salía, que mm -hmm. creo que decía que aparezco como asistente y por eso no tengo derecho a certificado. Ah, creo okay. que así decía. Yes, okay. So in that case, está teniendo la misma situación que Jessica. So necesito que al terminar la clase me envíes de igual forma tu nombre completo, número de teléfono y el correo que agregaste para inscribirte a inglés corporativo. So para poder okay. tener el certificado. Ajá, es que dice su inscripción, rutas de asistente. Está inscrito como asistente. En este modo no incluye la obtención de un certificado. Okay, yes, that's that's exactly like that. Uh, when you are subscribed as an assistant, you cannot have access to a certificate. That's what it happens. So okay. necesito que los demás chicos cuando logren terminar la plataforma, por favor me hagan saber si están teniendo un tipo de esta misma situación. Si les aparece como asistente, automáticamente cuando vean eso, me envían nombre completo, dirección de correo electrónico que pusieron para ingresar a inglés corporativo, más número de teléfono. ¿Por qué les digo esto desde ya? Porque la próxima semana terminamos clase y si usted tiene problemas con el certificado, un día después de clases, hasta ahí le puedo ayudar yo. De ahí, por lo demás, nos quitan el acceso completo a toda la información y nosotros ya no podemos uh -huh. ayudarle aunque queramos. Así que, por favor, necesito que todos estén pendientes de eso. Please. Okay. So, um, well, for today, we're not going to have a big practice. El día de ahora nos vamos a salvar de la práctica and we're going to go directly to today's class. Nos vamos a ir directo a la clase del día de ahora. Why? Porque today we're going to see, el día de ahora vamos a ver un poquito de gramática. So, I need you to be focused on. Necesito que estemos un poco ahí a la expectativa. So that's why we're not going to have, um, in this case, we are not having today the practice. So, but I need you guys to pay attention to, to today's class because, I mean, if you don't pay attention, sometimes you can get lost. But let me see. Let me just share the screen. Déjenme verificar la pantalla. So here. Just one moment. Well, I, I was also going to say, guys, thank you very much for the responsibility. Muchas gracias siempre por la responsabilidad de enviar sus tareas. Todos, creo que la mayoría de este grupo, todos son bastante buenos, chicos. La verdad que deberían de estar muy, eh, muy orgullosos de ustedes mismos. Algunos de ustedes incluso me estuvieron enviando audios de eh, los trabalenguas y se nota que han estado practicando. ¿sí? So I, am, uh, I appreciate that. ¿sí? Se aprecia eso y se nota el empeño que le están poniendo a la situación. So that's good. Thank you so much for that because that's part of your responsibility and you're showing that to me. So let me just go ahead right now and share the screen so you can have access to what we're going to see today. Today, guys, as you can see, it's our 11th class, nuestra clase número 11. So we just have solamente nos quedan cuatro, no, cinco clases más. And then we're over. Okay, so we have for today, guys. El día de ahora tenemos possessive pronouns. Pronombres posesivos. And also, we're going to have a little bit about the weather, el clima. So today, that's what we're going to see. But first of all, I would like to show you 
a little a little definition of a possessive pronoun. So I will need a volunteer. Necesito un voluntario to help me read this part. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are possessive pronouns? Uh, possess, possessive pronoun is one of the words, my, yours, hers, his, ours, or theirs, which are used instead of a noun to show that one person or thing belong to another and to avoid repetition. Okay, so basically what we do here, or the reason why we use a possessive pronoun, guys, is because we want to show one person or thing belongs to another and to avoid repetition, para evitar la repetición, okay? So that's one of the main functions that we have in order to use possessive pronouns. As you can see here, we have an introduction of them. But I must bear some examples here. For example, mine, we can see uh, possessive adjectives here. We have their, hers, his, ours. And we are going to see the differences that we have in grammar. So now we're going to have here the pattern of a possessive pronoun. Si se acuerdan de los possessive adjectives, right? Well, I hope so. So in this yes, coach. we can see here, podemos verificar acá possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia? We're gonna see here. For example, we have the sentence, tenemos la oración, I have a cat. Tengo un gato. Utilizando el possessive adjective, yo voy a decir, es mi gato. It's my cat. Para volver. Eh, evitar volver a repetir mi gato, yo digo, es mío. ¿El que es mío? El gato. So, in order for you not to repeat, para no volver a repetir la misma palabra gato, tres veces I can use a possessive pronoun to avoid, para evitar repetir demasiado. Now, um, I would like to have Oscar to help me with sentence number two. Oscar, horizontal, please, horizontal. Okay, you have a cat. It's your cat, it's yours. Yours. It's yours. Yours, correct. Now, we have two un gato, es tu gato, es tuyo, it's yours. Right. Now, Jessica, can you help me, Jessica, with number three? Yes, we had a cat, it's or a cat, it's or ours. Okay, we say it's our cat, it's ours. Ours. Mm -hmm, correct. So as you can see, we have also a small difference there. Why? Here, we can see that in a possessive adjective, we don't have a letter S. But in the possessive pronoun, we add a letter S to that. That's what we do. Now, Marielos, help me once again with this one. They have a cut. It's their cut, it's theirs. Theirs. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Humberto, help me with the next one. Okay. She has a cut, it's her cut, it's hers. Okay, it's not here, it's hair. Hair cut, it's hers. hers. Repeat it again, please. She has a cut. Is her a cat? Is her cat? Is hers? Okay, thank you very much. It's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Thanks. Thank you. Joel, let's go with you. Good evening. Good evening. 
he he has a cat it's his it's his okay oscar do you have a question oscar one question teacher uh, yes quiero decir que para para los pronombres uh, she y his vamos a utilizar has eh, do you mean para decir tener Sí, sí, correcto. Yes, correcto. Eh, pues, para, 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 para el nombre I, you, we, they, vamos a utilizar how. Correct, sí. Es... She y he, eh, vamos a utilizar eh, has. Yes, el verbo tener para estos, for this, para estos pronombres se usa have. Y cuando te refieres a tercera persona, para el mismo verbo decir tener es has. Ok. Good. Okay. We're going to move on here, and here we have some examples. Here, let's see. Oh, let me just check here. Now, let me ask you, Jacqueline, for you, Jacqueline, this one right here, it is personal or possessive? The personal. Personal. Okay, good. Excellent. Now, let me see. Uh, for Julissa. Julissa, this one right here is personal or possessive? Possessive. Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Ok, so para identificar chicos entre un possessive adjective y un possessive pronoun es bien fácil. Un possessive pronoun siempre le va a llevar la S al final y un possessive adjective it doesn't, no lo lleva. That's the only way that we can differentiate between possessive pronouns and possessive adjective. So, let's see, Sandra, this one right here, possessive or personal? Possessive. Possessive, good. Now, let me see, uh, Carlos Rodrigo. Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Possessive or personal? It is personal. Personal, okay, good. Now, let me see, Natalie. Possessive or personal? Um, possessive. Are you sure? No, not sure. <laughs> it is personal. So Edwin Polanco, possessive or personal? It's, pos it's possessive. Possessive, okay. Carlos Giovanni, possessive or personal? Personal. Personal. Okay, good. Now, Elizabeth, possessive or personal? Personal. Are you sure? No. This is possessive. Now, Giselle, possessive or personal? Giselle? Possessive, teacher. Possessive, correct. Now, Jonathan Alberto, possessive or personal? Possessive, teacher. Good. Now, we go with Marielos, possessive or personal? Personal, teacher. Jessica, possessive or personal? Possessive. Okay, and now we we'll finish with, let's see, Humberto, possessive or personal? Personal. Personal, correct. Now, Joel, possessive or personal? 
Personal. Personal. Ok. Here. Let's see. Necesito, chicos, que las, eh, estos que tenemos acá, me escriban las respuestas en el chat de la llamada. You have, tienen dos minutos o tres minutos para poder hacerlo. ¿Sí? En el chat de la llamada, no WhatsApp, chat de la llamada. So I only need, solo necesito the answers. We are 18, somos 18, including me, including me on the call. So I'm expecting to receive 17 answers. 18 respuestas, 17 respuestas, I'm sorry. Uh, a question, teacher, is just a first part or the second? No, both. Both, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm receiving already. I already received Carlos Rodriguez, Jacqueline, Jessica, Joel Alberto, Giselle, Humberto. I received Benjamin. But I'm still missing Humberto once again, Benjamin, Arielos, Jessica, Julissa, Jonathan Alberto, okay, Giselle, Giselle once again, and Oscar. Okay, what about the others? Edwin Polanco, okay, Elizabeth. Okay, so I guess the others are going to help. To see. Sorry, is his. Okay, no problem. Julissa, once again. Okay, good. I'm still receiving more people. Natalie. Okay. I have yes. a question. What's your question? In la lamina anterior que nos estaba mostrando los los possessive. Mm -hmm. um, en la parte de his mm -hmm. en el en el su de él. Mm -hmm. eh, es así? His his? Yes. His him. No, he is his. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Cindy, Natalie. Now, let me give you the answer. Vamos a ver. Y usted se califica acá como hubiese salido si este fuera su examen. Sí. Those are the answers. Estas son las respuestas correct. The correct answers. So we say, we have the example, Benny has a tent. It is his tent. It is his. Estamos diciendo que Benny tiene una casa de, o una, um, I would say that, casa de acampar, o tienda. So it is his tent. Es su tienda de acampar, es suya, it is his. Now we say Mary, piggy bank. Mary tiene una eh, alcancía de cerdito. Es su alcancía de cerdito, es suya. So these are the right answers. Estas son las oraciones that should be in the, the way that you should have done. La forma en la que le deberían haber hecho. 
Oh, okay, teacher, uh, good evening. I, I, mm -hmm. I have a question about in the second sentences. Por qué no podría ser him? What was there? The, well, I have a question because I, I think uh, this, it is uh, a him. You mean uh, this? Question, okay, let me see. You're talking about this. Tú estás hablando de este him, right? Correct? Yes. Okay. Let me explain you why. Déjame explicarte por qué no es him. Porque este him forma parte de los posesivos, pero en gramática le llamamos objeto pronombre. So, yo digo, it is him. Yo estoy diciendo, es él. Porque este him es él. For example, yo te voy a dar un ejemplo ahorita. Let's see. Y si yo digo, ese es o aquel es Luis. Let's see now, let me see. Yo vi, I saw Eduardo, for example. Vi a Eduardo. Ahora vengo y en lugar de decir Eduardo, yo voy a decir lo vi. ¿Y a quién? A él, Eduardo. So, lo vi. So, este him no forma parte de los posesivos. Sino que es llamado un objeto pronombre para reemplazar a un nombre. Esa, uh, uh, pero yo había entendido que era su de él, su de él, había entendido yo, teacher, por eso le preguntaba. ¿Su de él? What do you mean? Oh, oh, por, por ejemplo, por, por, por ejemplo, cuando decía him, por ejemplo, pero yo te había entendido, pero no sé si era, si era correcto la interpretación, pero ya me quedó más claro. No, su de él nunca va a ser him. Ese him nunca es su de él. Siempre es okay. eh, his. Si tú dices his, entonces o te estás refiriendo a su de él o te estás refiriendo a un possessive pronoun, que también es él pero refiriéndote a possessive. Pero si dices him, te refieres a él, específicamente reemplazando una persona. Por ejemplo, si tú quieres decir uh, vi, uh, ¿qué? vi a José, eh, comí con José, I ate with José. Y si para tú ya no volver a repetir José, porque vas a reemplazar un nombre de una persona, I saw him, lo vi, lo comí con él, I'm sorry. Con mí, con él. ¿Con quién? Con José. We already know. So, but okay. it, this one, it has nothing. Está completamente ligado de los posesivos. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. So, ¿alguien más tenía una pregunta? Yes, sí, teacher. Coach. Y en el caso, perdón. Y en el caso de ella, ¿se mantiene el she? She. Eh, no. En that case, va, también va a ser her cuando hablamos de un object pronoun, de un objeto pronombre. Si sí, estos son chicos un poquito confundibles, si no, eh, um, I mean, si no logramos entender cómo se utiliza, hay veces nos podemos confundir. Pero lo que me estaba preguntando, creo que no sé si era Benjamin, I guess he was the one. So, uh, en ese caso todavía no hemos llegado a los object pronouns. ¿Por qué? Los object pronouns se ven entre intermedio, terminando básico intermedio. Why? Porque es un poquitito más avanzado para poder, eh, well, you know, eh, no repetir nombres, en este caso, personas, de personas. Pero ahorita en los possessive, sí, es algo completamente distinto a eso. Ok, gracias. Ok, ¿alguien más? For example, other other example, I can be he 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 is my brother. He, I'm sorry, say it again. He needs my brother. That's what he said. He needs my brother. He needs. Well, he, he is. He is my brother. I don't, I don't, 
what you're telling me, Jessica. I'm sorry. Okay. Try, no, try to say it again. Trata de decirlo eh, de nuevo just for me to try to understand your question. He is. Mm -hmm. He is my brother. Is another example the, the him. Él es mi hermano. You mean he is my brother? Mm, no, I I. No, se me olvidó la 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 estructura de mi pregunta ya. Yeah? Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm, sorry. No, I'm very sorry that I couldn't understand. I'm sorry. My bad. So, uh, someone else, alguien más tenía una pregunta, chicos? Someone else had any other question? No? So, if there's no other question, we're going to move on. And this was just a little practice. Well, not a practice, it was just actually just one exercise that we had in this part. And now, here we have more examples. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos. Taking a look, verificando los possessive adjectives en comparación con los possessive pronouns. Comparing, comparando. So here, we're going to compare that. Eh, vamos a verificar cuál es la palabra que no estamos repitiendo. The word that we're not repeating. For example, Jacqueline, can you help me reading, Jacqueline? Okay. Um, the first part okay no here uh, possessive pronouns pre replace a possessive adjective plus noun to avoid re repeating mm -hmm. information that is already clear okay aquí venimos al ejemplo para que tengamos una idea más clara del por qué tenemos que utilizar un possessive pronoun tenemos el ejemplo this book is my book, not your book. ¿Sí? Estamos diciendo, este es mi libro, no tu libro. So, estamos repitiendo la misma palabra tres veces. So, para evitar repetir la misma palabra tres veces y decir completamente lo mismo, decimos, este libro es mío, no tuyo. ¿Sí? En lugar de decir, este libro es mi libro, no tu libro. Yes, si entendemos ahora why or the reason why we need to use a possessive pronoun. In English, los utilizamos para sonar más natural, to sound more natural, to sound more native, para sonar más nativos del idioma. Why? Because if you say, si tú dices, this book is my book, not your book, probably someone is going to understand you. Probablemente alguien va a entender que tú estás queriendo dar a entender una idea. But that person, esa persona va a saber que tú estás aprendiendo inglés, que no lo manejas bien. Why? Porque no estás utilizando un possessive pronoun para evitar repetir la misma cosa. Ok. So we're going to have some examples, and I will need your participation. Vamos a empezar con Joel. Joel, you're going to have number one. Vas a tener número uno. Oscar, number two. Jacqueline, number three. Sandra Molina, number four. Jessica, number five. Humberto, number six. We're going to have Carlos Rodriguez, number seven. We're going to have Axel Ruiz, number eight. From the first part, por la primera parte. So let's go. My, my shirt is green. My shirt is green, good. Number two. Okay. Uh, your, your book mm. is new. Good, thank you very much. Number three. His, his pillow is soft. Pillow, pillow. Pillow, mm -hmm. excuse me, pillow. Good. Is soft. Mm -hmm. Or? His pillow is soft. No, that, that's good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Now we'll go with number four. Mm -hmm. 
Who has number four, Sandra? Sandra. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Her dog is small. Her dog, dog is Okay, no, that, that's okay. The dog Sandra. is hers. Oh no, it was just this part, but thank you so much. Now we're okay. five. It's bone is old. Thank you. Number six. Our beer is nosy. Our. Our. Our bird is noisy. Say it again. Our, our beer is nosy. Noisy. Noisy. Who is noisy? Noisy, ruidoso. Oh, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. So, next one. Hello, teacher. Uh, Hello. Your house is big. Okay. And the last one. Their, their car is slow. Their car is slow, okay? Uh, I believe you guys have been listening to that again we are saying the letter S. Remember? Do you remember that? I said that when a word starts with S, we have the ability to add an S at the beginning. For example, there are people who say small, small. Listen, le agregamos una E. So when we have, cuando tenemos una palabra que inicia con S, eso no debemos hacerlo. We don't have to do that. So what do we do? ¿Cómo pronunciamos? How do we pronounce? Only no. sound. Solamente el sonido de la S. So we say small, we say slow. So no de slow, ¿verdad? So we got to pay attention to that. Now, we're gonna move on. Vamos a mover a part number two. We're gonna start with uh, Marielos, sentence number one. Julissa, sentence number two. We're gonna go with, uh, let's see, uh, Natalie, sentence number three. Carlos Giovanni, sentence number four. Then we're gonna move on with Edwin Polanco, number five. Sandra Elizabeth, number six. And Jonathan Alberto, number seven. Go ahead. The shirt is mine. The shirt is mine. Now, ¿qué fue lo que omitimos? What we omitted from sentence number one to sentence number two, Marielos? Uh, the color. The color, correct. We decided to omit the color green. Thank you. Now, let's go to number two. The book is yours. Okay, what are we replacing? ¿Qué es lo que estamos no replacing, Lisa? Uh, new. New, okay, so we're avoiding to repeat that. Now, number three. The pillow is his. Okay. What are we omitting? Uh, it's soft. Soft, correct. Number four. The dog is hers. Okay, the dog is hers. What are we omitting here? It's, it's small. Small, correct. Now. Let's go to number five. The bird is ours. Ours. The bird, the bird is ours. Correct. So what are we omitting there? Is noisy. Noisy. Correct. The next one. What is the next one? The house is yours. Mm -hmm. What are we omitting here? It's big. It's big, correct. And the last one? 
theirs. The car is theirs. Mm -hmm. What are we omitting here? Slow. Slow. Correct. Now, guys, is there any questions so far? Alguna pregunta el momento so far so good? Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline, tell me. Vaya, solo para entender bien. Mm -hmm. Esto se utiliza cuando es lo mismo. Es exactly. decir, vaya, en la primera oración dice, mi camisa es verde. Uh -huh. La camisa es mía, o sea, se está refiriendo uh -huh. siempre a la camisa. Uh -huh. Pero en el caso de que si yo digo el lapicero es mío y el cuaderno es tuyo, se utiliza siempre solo possessive adjective. Ok, por ejemplo, si we say so, si we say, eh, por ejemplo, este lapicero es mío, this is my Pencil, right? Este es mi lapicero. No es tuyo. Is that what you said? No tuyo. O es el tuyo. Mm -hmm. Is If we say no tuyo, we are going to say not yours. Okay. Déjame, I will, I will write it. Voy a escribir acá, and we just say this is my pencil. Not yours. Ok, en este caso podríamos hacerlo de esta forma. En la primera parte, on the first part, tú utilizas un possessive adjective. Y tú dices, este es mi lapicero. No es el tuyo. Not yours. Y en la segunda, tú utilizas un possessive pronoun. ¿Por qué? Porque si tú no utilizas un possessive pronoun, estarías diciendo, this is my pencil. Not your pencil, no tu lapicero. So that sound suena muy repetitivo. So para no repetir el segundo, not your pencil, de una sola vez utilizamos el possessive pronoun y decimos no el tuyo. No necesariamente van a ser los dos del mismo. No que puede ser una possessive adjective y en la otra possessive pronoun. No sé si eso responde a tu pregunta, Jack. Mm -hmm. Sí, y cuando son dos cosas diferentes, serían el possessive adjective. O sea, por ejemplo, the pencil is, is my. O, 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 o como el ejemplo que acabas de poner. Uh -huh. the, my, my pencil. Uh -huh. Y your, your book. O sea, Solo en, en con possessive adjective. Awesome. In your, your book. Uh -huh. So you say my pencil in your book. Ok, si tú estás diciendo mi lapicero y tu libro, ¿qué son esos? Son nuestros. Entonces, ¿cuál utilizaríamos? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería el nuestro? Ours. Porque te estoy incluyendo lo mío y lo tuyo. Y lo tuyo y lo mío es nuestro. Entonces, ours. Si sí tiene sentido, solo es de hallarle un poquito la lógica. No importa si yo hablo de ti y yo. Es porque eso va a ser nuestro. Diferente fuera que yo digo lo de Oscar, lo de Jessica y lo de Marielos. Como no me estoy incluyendo, yo estoy hablando de quién. ¿Siempre hablo de nosotros o ahora de quién hablo? De ellos. De ellos, sí. exactly. So ahí, basándonos en el contexto, the context is going to give us the idea. Generalmente, cuando hacemos un, un examen así escrito, what is going to help us, lo que nos va a ayudar es analizar el contexto. ¿Sí? Porque analizamos rapidito. Okay. Yo no me incluí cuando dije Jessica, Oscar y Marielos. So, automáticamente analizamos that I was talking about mm -hmm. them. Que yo estaba hablando about them, de ellos. Now, ¿qué, ¿cuál sería la diferencia si yo digo Jessica, Oscar y Marielos en mí y yo? Now, ¿qué somos? Nuestros. Mm -hmm. 
nuestro. So we got, we see the, the context. Solo es de entender el contexto a little. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you for asking that question. Any other question? Algo otra pregunta, chicos? Porque en el examen de la próxima semana van a venir estas cositas. So, if you don't ask. I have a question. No question? Me. Oh, okay, Edwin. Go ahead. Um, únicamente eh, con respecto a la pronunciación de hours. Hours. Mm -hmm. Correcto. Eh, con respecto a las horas. That's an hour. In hours. Son en hours. Le llamamos a esto palabras homófonas. ¿Qué quiere decir? Yo las escribo de diferente forma, pero las pronuncio igual. O las pronuncio igual, pero a la hora de escribirlas, ambas tienen un significado completamente distinto. Ok, siempre es el, la misma pronunciación. Entonces, únicamente depende del, en sí del contexto, se podría decir. Exactly, exactamente. Thank you very much. Ok, good. Any other question? Yes. Okay. Uh, ¿Podría explicar nuevamente por qué no usamos en possessive pronoun el it? Oh, we don't use a possessive pronoun. No lo utilizamos eh, dado el hecho de que eh, eh, when we say, for example, decimos es su, it's bone, su hueso is all. En este caso como possessive adjective. It's like, uh, in this case, ¿para qué utilizamos el, el personal pronoun it? ¿Para qué lo utilizamos? Para cosas. Para cosas. Para cosas. Animals and different things. Cosas que no tienen vida, right? So we're talking about things, cosas. So in this case, en los possessive pronoun, no podríamos decir es... Eh, for example, aquí decíamos, este libro es mío. No podríamos decir, este libro es eso. O es eh, algo de eso. No, que es, eso no tiene sentido. Doesn't make sense. Eh, incluso hablando, like even in Spanish, no decimos, we don't say things like that. So in English, el único que no es incluido en el possessive pronoun es it. Debido a que no tiene ningún sentido poder utilizarlo when we speak. Si lo utilizáramos, sonáramos como que fuéramos cavernícolas. Que estamos empezando a hablar el idioma. Something like that. I don't know if that's clear or... Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So if there's no any other questions, si no hay ninguna otra pregunta, chicos... We're going to go directly, nos vamos a ir now to the, to the part of the weather. Nos vamos a pasar a la parte del clima. So just let me go ahead and check here. And we're going to go with the weather. Nos vamos a ir con el vocabulario del clima. So here, just let me show you the presentation here. And here we have some, oh my God, I don't know what just said. Here, the weather. Okay, here we have. So we're going to learn. Vamos a aprender cómo decir algunas, uh, like, adjectives. Y cómo decir, for example, cuando está nublado o una nube. You, I said cloud. Cloud es una nube. Cloud. Cuando yo quiero decir nuboso, I say cloudy. Cloudy. Flood. For example, este es para inundación. Oh, the flood. Flood. Fog. Cuando, cuando digo fog, me refiero a la neblina. Cuando yo quiero decir, oh, está neblinado, I said foggy. Foggy. Then, when I say hell, hail, sorry, hail, yo digo granizo. And when I say hailing, Es como que está cayendo granizo. Hailing. Now, hurricane. Hurricane. Now, we repeat it again. Lo repito de nuevo. Cloud. Cloudy. Flood. Fog. Foggy. Hail. Hailing. Hurricane. Now, ice. Yellow. Icy. 
helado, algo que está congelado. Lightning es un rayo, a lightning. Lluvia, rain. Lluvioso, rainy. Lloviendo, raining. Rain, rainy, raining. Okay. Now, rainbow, arcoiris, rainbow. Nieve, snow. Nevado, snowing. Nevando, snowing. Okay. Now, I'll repeat it again. Ice, icy. Lightning, rain, rainy, raining. Rainbow, snow, snowy, snowing. Now, tormenta, storm, tormentoso, stormy. Sun, sol, sunny, soleado. Thunder, truenos o relámpagos, thundery. When we see, le llamamos como está relampagueando, decimos en el sábado. But I really don't know. No sé si en español esa sería la frase correcta. But in el sábado, we say, oh, está relampagueando. Something like that. Now, tornado. Tornado. Wind, viento, windy, ventarroso. Now, I repeat it again. Storm, stormy. Sun, sunny. Thunder, thundery. Tornado, wind, windy. Now, we go with the last part. Hit, calor. Hot, caliente. Warmth, cálido. Warm, calidez. Coolness, frío. Cool, frío, the friento, el clima frío. Cold, también es frío. And cold, también es el clima friento o helado. Helado, that's, that's the way. And freezing, congelado, freezing. Now, let's see. Vamos a escuchar a Jessica with the first part. Jessica, horizontal, please. Cloud, cloudy. Cloud. Cloud, cloudy. Mm -hmm. Yes, the whole thing, todas, horizontal. Oh, oh no, sorry. Cloud, cloudy, flood, 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 mm -hmm. flood, fog, foggy, hail, 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 hailing, hurricane, hurricane, hurricane. Good. Now we'll go with Jacqueline, number two. Ice. Mm -hmm. Icy. Mm -hmm. Lightning. Okay. Rain. Rainy. Mm -hmm. Raining. Good. Rainbow. Okay. Snow. Okay. Snowing. Snowing. Thank you very much. Julissa, we move on with you, Julissa. A storm, a storm, mm -hmm. sun, sun, thunder, thunder, tornado, wind, windy. Good, excellent. Now we'll go with you, Edwin Polanco. Okay. Pues solo que se ha tapado en la parte de abajo. Sorry, what? Okay. Wing. Heat. Hot. Okay. Warm. Warm. Okay. Coolness. Okay. Cool. Cold. Cold. Freezing. Freezing. Okay, now we move on with Sandra. Once again, number one. Cloud, cloudy. Cloud, fog, foggy. Mm -hmm. Hail, hailing. Uh, hurricane. Hurricane. Hurri what? Hurricane. Say it. Hurricane. 
hurricane. Okay, good. Now we're gonna move on with you, Oscar, number two. Okay, ice, icy, lightning, rain, rainy, raining, okay. rainbow, snow, snowy, snow wind. Okay. Good, thank you, Marielos. A storm, a stormy. Okay, sun, one, once sunny. again, Marielos. Sun. Marielos, once again, la letra E al inicio no es E, es S, Marielos. Perdón, perdón, sí. Mm -hmm. Storm, mm -hmm. stormy. Good. Sun, sunny, thunder, thundery, tornado, mm -hmm. um, wind, wind. 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 Mm -hmm. y windy. windy. Windy, correct. Now. Humberto. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Clear hot. your throat, okay? Hot, hot. No, no, no. Eat. Warm. Eat. Warm. Eat. Heat. Mm -hmm. Hot. Mm -hmm. uh, I can, I'm not sure how to pronunciation warm 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 with the letter z con la letra z al final warm warm mm -hmm. warm okay coolness mm -hmm. cool cold cold good freezing 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 Good. Now we're gonna go with Joel. Cloud, cloudy, mm -hmm. low, fog, foggy, mm -hmm. hail, 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 hail. Mm -hmm. hailing, mm -hmm. hurricane. hurricane, 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 hurricane. Okay. Good. Axel, number two. Ice, icy. Uh, lightning. lightning, lightning. Yes, correct. Lightning. Rain, rainy, raining. Okay. Rainbow. Mm -hmm. Snow, snowy, snowing. Axel, esa letra E al inicio. No, no, no. Once again, una vez más. Snow, mm -hmm. snowy, snowy. Good. Now, we're going to go with Carlos Rodriguez. Okay. Storm, stormy. Excellent. Sun, sunny. Mm -hmm. Thunder, thundery. Mm -hmm. Tornado. Okay. Wind, windy. Excellent. Now we're gonna finish with Benjamin. You there, Benjamin? Okay. Uh, heat, hot, warm, warm. Warmth with the Z. At warm. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Back. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Warm. Okay. Warm. Coldness, cold. Okay. cold, cold. No, 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 that's cold. Cold, cold, freezing. Freezing, okay, good. Well, guys, uh, that's going to be pretty much all for today. El día de ahora, se salvaron de práctica y se salvaron de tarea. So, día libre para mañana. Why? Porque tenemos la práctica del... Please, yeah. That <laughs> we have the practice of the tongue twister. Tenemos la práctica del traba lengua still. Okay, do not forget that because I haven't forgotten. Algunos de ustedes, como dos personas, it's okay, Cindy. It's just a practice. It's un tongue twister. So, uh, algunos de ustedes ya me enviaron ahí cuando estaban practicando. 
It's good. It was good, actually. Bastante bien. Eh, but necesitamos un poquito más de fluency. So, por favor, recuérdese para el día viernes a más tardar usted practica y cuando ya se sienta listo, envía un audio con el tongue twister. Ok. So, if there's no any other questions, si no hay ninguna otra pregunta, before we go, remember that for this week, tenemos que seguir trabajando en section number four, los que aún no han terminado la plataforma. Los que ya lo terminaron, ya saben, eh, envíenme eh, la información para saber que todo esté bien. Other than that, guys, that's going to be all for today. I do appreciate the fact that you're here. Thank you very much for your responsibility and hope you have a good night. Okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.